Hey Jet, so this video is going to be talking about a topic that is rather deep. Uh, we're going to talk about anxiety, which I know is a rather heavy topic for the first official video, but uh, starting out college I was feeling really anxious this year. Just thinking about future stuff, thinking about where my life is heading, which is a lot of decisions I'm having to make right now, and I wanted to be really open and honest and talk with a few of my friends about anxiety that they're having, and I think that talking about mental health while at school is a really important topic, so this is not a super cute fun video to start off the tradition but i think it's really important and it was really hitting home for me this month uh and i just really want to talk about it with you so i hope that you enjoy this video with uh, me and a couple friends talking about uh anxiety and mental health now you get to introduce yourself okay hello hi jet i'm zach you know me <laughs> i'm jordan's friend i am a senior <laughs> history major with a concentration in education uh, my name is lisa hello um i am a senior interior design major what does the word anxiety mean for you anxiety means to me it's kind of like a nervous tick yeah so it's like i will out shake my leg my brain is like yeah just won't stop yeah going it's kind of just this like overarching umbrella term yeah. kind of i guess the word anxiety to me thankfully it's not something that kind of is like a constant thing in my brain. It's more of just like a trigger thing. Mm -hmm. So it like just kind of a spiral almost in my brain of where I just kind of go into this like motion and I just start nose diving like into the ground and totally just getting lost in the world doesn't exist. I'm just like completely like inside my own brain. When was the first time like you ever realized what you were feeling was anxiety? Like you had a name for it? Three weeks ago. Yeah. I was like, school is fixing to start. I graduate in a year and a half. And I already am like, and I'm like, we're only three weeks into school and I'm already like sleep deprived. All the stuff I have to do. Yeah. I'm like, I should go talk to someone. Yeah. So once you realized you were like feeling really anxious, you went and talked to your therapist. Mm -hmm. Actually, someone had to tell me that it was anxiety and it was when I went to go see a therapist at Baylor who told me that these feelings that you're feeling is actually anxiety. Like this is not, I don't want to say the word normal because- Healthy. Yes, healthy, that's good. So it's not healthy and there's a better way to live my life in which I can be happier and I can be less stress and less anxious about things and I don't have to spiral mm -hmm. and so I'm still learning about it myself and differentiating the difference between anxiety and stress because stress can be healthy but anxiety a lot of the times is not. You mentioned that your anxiety is kind of based on triggers. Can you explain what that means? Well, for me, anything can be a trigger. A particular song or a particular line in a song, even just a mood of a song or a movie or um, something that someone says or some the way that someone looks at me, which that in itself has gotten better, but just it could be just anything that kind of just triggers a response in my brain. Generally remember something that happened to me when I was in high school or whatever, which wasn't a super great time for me and it just kind of clicks something in my brain and I just start like going on and on and on about how these things relate and how just the world was terrible and all these different things and it just kind of spirals out of control basically. I mean, the thing that triggered me could be complete, by the time I'm done with the spiral could be completely unrelated and I could be on completely another end of the spectrum, but that's just kind of, how it starts. It's almost like there's like a ball at the, at the top of a hill and someone just kind of kicks it and it just goes So you had anxiety when you were in high school? Yeah, and probably when I was in middle school. That's pretty much where it started. So what would your advice be to someone that like thinks that they might have anxiety or they would like they don't know but they want to they want to start feeling better? Well, I would definitely say go talk to someone and I think you definitely have to be ready to feel better. Your anxiety isn't going to get better and it's just only probably going to make things worse if you try and force yourself to get better when you're really not ready to and that's what's important. That's why it took me so long because I just wasn't ready. So I would definitely say if you can even just talk to a school counselor probably is your first 
best bet but if you can go talk to someone who's a professional and just kind of outline how you feel and they can give you the best advice in the world for me i self-reflect a lot and so i thought that my advice was the greatest advice because i know myself better than anybody else can but it sometimes takes an outside person to tell you how you feel and like how you should change that uh, what i did first was i talked to it through it with my girlfriend mm -hmm. i'd say talk it over with someone first mm -hmm. just so you can really establish like what you're feeling is actually that and not just something else. Not the stress, mm -hmm. yeah. But like what do you do now if you start feeling anxious? I kind of just have to stop and like reevaluate things. Yeah, remember that like your mental health is important. <laughs> if you need a break, you should take one. Like I know a lot of people that's like, I feel anxious, but I need to push through it and keep working. But your mental health is more important mm -hmm. than getting whatever you need to get done. If you're kind of in the moment and you can feel yourself having an anxiety attack, it's called, it's a grounding technique and basically you kind of just sit there and you try and identify five things that you can see and four things you can hear, three things you can touch or feel, two things that you could smell and then one thing you can taste and something and my therapist recommended that you bring like a little pack of mints so that you can just like pop it in and once you go through that five step system it really, at least for me, it helped me like kind of come back to reality and like approach mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. and a really unfortunate way in this culture mm -hmm. a lot of the time is that like there's something wrong with you and yeah. you're just like you know i'm just upset i'm just sad when it's mm -hmm. actually like you're sick yes and you don't want to admit that you're like not normal mm -hmm. it's just it's not that you're not normal you're just not healthy right i think another really hard thing is comparing yourself to other people yes so, like i'm not as bad as them like that person yes. having an anxiety attack and i don't get that bad yes but like even if you're just sitting there unable to focus because you feel sick to the mm -hmm. point of like you just want to throw up and it's just because you're anxious yeah that's still as worthwhile to go seek help for mm -hmm. as the person that's having panic attacks every day oh yeah anxiety manifests itself in many many different ways you don't so, ever want to get to the point where you can't right. function you want to nip it right before that point because yes. the people that are having anxiety attacks were probably mm -hmm. getting sick to their stomach before they started having an anxiety right. attack it's yeah. not just like you're suddenly sick right and the fact that you can function with your anxiety does not mean that you your anxiety is no less important yeah. or you know or that you are you know not as sick as someone else and if it's lowering quality of life then it's important yes exactly yeah.